ladies and gentlemen, for the 786th time, it is the Mason and Friends show. Featuring a dude called Black Hand, a.k.a. J-Rod Statham. Yeah. As well as that dude called Jew, a.k.a. Jew Not Statham. What up, bitches? Me, I am Mahoney. Welcome to the Mason and Friends show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening, y'all? What's good out there today? Oh, man, just trying to get through, you know what I'm saying? How the hell are you, Mike? I'm maintaining. That's what I like to hear. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, it's funny, man. We don't got all this time with bullshit around here, and not within two seconds of the show starting, a little fucker got to come out here and disrupt my man, the Please unit, and his folks. Pizza. Waiting on his pizza, I see. Time to say. Rambo? Yeah. I did. Part two. All right. Part two, ah. That's they set him up to die. Well done, Mr. Unit. We're expendable. I'm expendable, that's why. Do you think that's where the whole expendables concept came from? That's what I we thought when I heard that line. Oh eh? uh, yeah, yeah. Four? Yep. There's another expendables coming out. That's the fourth one coming out with fifty cent and right, the third one was the last one with Van Damme, right? And Mip Gibson, right? Yep, everybody. Yep. yep and yep. and yep. Norris and uh -huh. game went down. There's back up. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's with them. That that was the third one when Chuck came that out everybody there. Everybody in, so God, that, that shit that makes had, me. That had everybody in that. I'm so glad man. I don't watch these movies, man. Y'all, y'all get that me this guy had these bitches. forty prime time actors in that motherfucking movie. Yeah, uh, like superstar actors, at least forty. Yeah, at least thirty. Because this was the last one Bruce Willis could been in. Because you know he's got that shit going on. Yeah, with him Bruce now. is in that bitch. Yeah, too, yeah, but he sold his rights and likenesses and everything. So like. Once AI gets good enough, Bruce Willis will be back in movies. Yeah, make him young. Yeah. He's going to be young. Bruce Willis. Fifth like, Element. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Fifth Element. Yeah, he's going to be Fifth Element Bruce fifth Willis. Fifth Element Bruce Willis. Sixth <laughs> Element. Yeah. The Sixth Element will sixth come element. out with Bruce AI. Willis and, and Chris Tucker's called. kid. Sixth Element AI. Yeah. 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 It's going to be Bruce Willis with six, Chris Tucker's kid. Let's see what this AI is going to do because it's around. It's going to be here. Like, Dude, it's taking over, bro. It's going to kill oh, us yeah. all, man. Lord willing. It'll be like, I robot. The iRobot surrogate's gonna have all kinds of shit going on. I don't know. The, the iRobot's concept's pretty heavy. Yeah. It could be good. It's gonna be like, uh, 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 what's the other one, man? Uh, that's they got, not, a, that's they not got far, another one coming that's not out. That's a far fetched With uh, Denzel's son. Get ready to come out. Denzel got a kid? Yeah, you ain't know that? Nah. Man. I ain't paying attention to shit, bro. Denzel's son, that motherfucker can act. That dude's gonna be good. I mean, you got your dad coach you, that motherfucker gonna be good. But he got a, he got a movie coming out. I think it's called The Creator, where he has to like save this AI robot human. You know what I mean? The Creator. I don't think I've seen a, a trailer for that. Yeah, I saw that the other day. So I guess he gets like feelings for the kid that's AI, and uh, he tries to protect this AI kid, whatever. It's gonna be similar shit to like, you know, uh, what's the short circuit? Remember Johnny, Johnny Five? five alive. I'm alive. Yeah. I'm alive. Well, you know, input, know, input. input. I need J more input. J5 was the precursor to AI. Yeah. Like, he was our first taste of AI. He got J AI started, got man. shut by lightning. That's how his AI They're came. trying to make Johnny Five come alive and, and be nice to people. Wally was the best one, though. Haven't seen it. Oh, you take Wally? Don't fuck with these well, kids. Okay. Take Wally over J5. Nah, I, I'm gonna stick with old school. I'm gonna take J5 all day. He didn't do day. nothing. Wally flew, did he? J5 had a J5 gun on his shoulder, had the dog. laser, young. J5 he had could the laser. Make That's why he had the laser. Yeah. He had like the Terminator, the, the Predator laser now, see, on his shoulder. Wally might be connected to like the Wi-Fi and shit in game, but but J five uh, J five was able to get knowledge just from scanning books. Da, 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 like he was reading these movies. He, was he read the reading. book mad quick, but yeah, that was just right. like fucking uh, right. Flip, yeah. Fifth Element when yeah, the when yeah. sat down in front of the TV and in front of the computer and blah, 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 yeah. And, and just downloaded all the human J5 history. needed more input. He was always thirsty for more knowledge, man. That AI was working overtime. Man, I wish real intelligence was thirsty for more knowledge. Yeah, be, yeah, instead be of nice. just confirmation bias and bullshit. Oh, man. That's all we want as humans. 
or a lot of us anyway. I want to get better. I want to get smarter. I want to improve. I don't just want people to reinforce the shit that I already think. Like, yeah, yeah you're right about everything. Oh, am I? Can I be wrong about something? What if uh. I'm wrong about something? No, no, no. You're right about everything. Only look up media that supports your thought process. Yeah. It doesn't make you question anything. Damn all that shit. Uh-huh. You gotta be free thinkers out here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, man. I need but to. But they gotta figure out how to be free thinkers again. Well, once again, it's all about uh, education system fucking us over by not oh, teaching yeah, people yeah. how to think, teaching people how to be drones. Yep, yep. And that's all we got these days, drone ass motherfuckers. Everywhere. Can't think, must do what I'm told to think. Uh huh. That's not how it's supposed to work. Don't question anything because you question it, then you're fucking labeled as something else. If I question things, I'll get canceled. You know, fuck am I worried about cancel, bro? We ain't never been big. You're not going to be part of the box that they think that you're in already. You know, oh, we already labeled you already. But now you're not thinking like what we think you're going to think. Nah, then you're you're this then. You're right, this, right. Like, you must be that other thing that's a simple label since we can't actually, like, comprehend just how nuanced you may actually be. Nah. I like a little nuance. You gotta have it every once in a while. That's why, you know, Hollywood felt stagnant. You know what I mean? Because they, they don't have nothing new. They're just recycling whatever they can keep recycling. That's that's exactly right. They don't yeah. know how to hire proper writers that want to write something new. They well, just they probably flip do. Shit they just want to fuck them over. Uh, that's know? true. I mean, you got look. Look what happened right now with the big auto. Uh-huh. They're on strike right now. Yep. UAW. Big UAW. Three. Yeah. Yeah. So after all that money fucking forked out the bail out because they're too big to fail, now they're fucking up. So now what? Yeah, pretty you much. You know what I mean? Because they're talking about oh, it's gonna cost more to have a car. And all well, that but shit. they want they want something somewhat unreal or ridiculous, like pay us for thirty two hours of work, but pay us forty hours. Yeah, I heard about that they one some, there. They got some fairly ridiculous demands. But, but some of the shit I'm agree with, like, you know, they pay these motherfuckers what they need to be paid because everybody deserves to be paid. You know, you can't survive off these wages you got now, even with fucking... None of us can. You're making fucking good money. The, the mean That's average the fucking income is like 35 is. grand in this country and like... Nobody's making that really. Yeah. Like some of us are breaking that. And you want motherfuckers to fucking go out here and try to make it, and then you're like, oh, the world's not spending enough money. Well, you know, they can't. Like I'm sitting here, I'm making this. I got the best job I've had. It doesn't make me mad. Doesn't make me pissed off all the time. Gives me decent money. I still don't feel like I could ever get anything. No, like look, I'm making, and, I'm making over fifty. Me I'll and Doc for Bowden, we fucking but, making good money combined, and we still fucking yeah. have to struggle with like, shit. I ain't getting shit ever. Like, like, I'm going to live with my folks today and around no more, and then I'm either go live under a bridge might, or just shut the show the down. More, the more you spend, usually just on bails. I don't know how that is. Uh-huh. Just life bills. Yeah, those Not motherfuckers. Just like credit card bills, just life bills. You know what I mean? Take all that raise, all that $400 doctor bill. Yup, yup, yup. And constant tax on every fucking goddamn thing. Uh-huh. Well, on and then they tax it and they give it to Ukraine. And they don't even fix our fucking bullshit. And nothing that's going like on Like if over my here. tax dollars were being properly appropriated, I wouldn't feel, be so pissed off. Yeah, about it, yeah, yeah. You know, but you know, I'm used to that, man. I spend money on stuff. It don't give me no return. Yeah. Every now and it does. Like I put some money in a car, it gives me a good return. But like other than that, I didn't put money into anything that's giving me good return. Like in my fucking, life. I was uh, looking at shit, man. Here, just these past couple of months, because I'm like, yo, I know I haven't bought nothing for my fucking self. You know what I mean? Like I ain't done shit for myself. Like bought anything specifically for me, just for the fuck of it. And right, right. I think pretty much, I want to say maybe this whole, maybe I bought a pair of shoes and that was probably it, but nothing big, nothing extravagant where it's going to dent my fucking bank account. But those are requirements. Yeah, but here's here's the thing though. The thing that's denting my fucking account is actually, like you said, all the bills, you know, that come through that you have to fucking pay. I got doctor bills that I'm fucking paying on. Like, God damn, what the fuck? Even though my insurance quoted, you know, covered. 80%, 80%, that shit's still fucking another 200 here. Three, yep. Why? Yeah. I only was there for not even an hour. Yep. I was we only out take money bitch. out of every check you pay. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah, you can have insurance so you can save some money when you occasionally need it. What? That doesn't make sense to you? Uh-huh. 
Like, I'm like, God damn. Then fucking you go to the grocery store, just do some goddamn grocery shopping, and never, that shit changes every fucking week you go. Well, dude, inflation is real, man. That shit is fucking stupid ridiculous. And they're talking about, oh, so so the feds are going to raise interest rates. It's going to knock inflation. No, it's not. That's you just made it fucking even more for bullshit to pay back. So now I got to pay back a higher rate when I get something that I know I could have afforded. Now I got to pay a higher rate for some shit. Yeah, and then you turn around and tell these motherfuckers that yo the people that got bad credit we're gonna help y'all out but the people that got good credit we're gonna fucking beat y'all in the head now because you did good with your money and you was smart with your fucking money man fuck you yeah dude the whole system set up to fuck us over kiss my ass every, every last anybody that's doing anything to better themselves but then the system set up to fuck you over say I tank my motherfucking credit now I gotta go in here and you're supposed to be helping me out and then it's like you're gonna change it again oh now you gotta have good credit for this shit to work yeah, no nah, fuck you man like, what you didn't get bailed out like the government does for like, everybody else everybody else you know what I mean like everybody other than Hostess here. Cupcakes oh we can't let General Motors fail but Hostess Cupcakes psh, and yeah, they're General good. Motors is about to fucking tank again because they're talking about, oh, with these employees, because they, they, they had a strike at specific places, uh-huh. which that's smart. Well, it's nice of them. They're only doing manufacturing plants right now, which is really just going to slow down the ability to get new cars, which is already fucked anyway. But, you know, as a salesperson of car parts, like I very much hope that it doesn't start to affect the manufacturing process for the it's parts going to already, already because, see, fucked anyway. They had already said that because of this, they have to lay off a certain amount of people. You know, okay, because of this, we got to lay off bullshit. this amount of people and this amount of people because they just... And, and the 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 way they're doing it, they're vilifying the, the, the union and the people that are on strike. Well, but that's what the Biden administration does, man. They're not pro-labor. They're anti-labor. That's why they fucking shut down the strike for the railroad workers before it even got started. Yeah, yeah, I remember that shit. That's why they're going to do everything they can to fuck over the union on this shit, motherfuckers. Because I'm like, they're asking just, and all they were asking was fucking. They just wanted vacation. They want vacation time. They want sick time. Can I have some sick days? No, they want sick days. You got sick days. You got to plan them thirty days in advance, at least. Right. Okay. I'm gonna be. That's how sick days work. But when they had the Rona and shit, and then they got the new Rona. Apparently, supposed to been happening. That's a whole nother fucking cup of shit. How about shit? this dumbass fucking New Mexico governor is going to ban fucking concealed carry and all firearms inside a certain space for a month or more, like, just because they've been having fucking violence issues. Like, What's that going to stop, though? Uh, it's just going to stop law-abiding citizens from protecting themselves. Because, I mean, there's, themselves. like, certain places where you can't have guns, like schools and fucking, like, right, pro- right. like uh, what is it, government facilities or the something thing, like that. The thing project. that they don't understand is that the fucking illegal firearm activity that's going on is going to continue to go on because it's fucking illegal. Yeah. The illegal people that are trying to carry legally are now just going to be a greater criminal uh, thing, no, but thing they're not this. even because it's anti that, it's though. anti-constitutional and that the fucking law enforcement in New Mexico doesn't even want to fucking do the thing. Here's my thing with all that being said. I don't need a gun to fuck you up. I don't need to carry a fucking goddamn gun to do some violence if I want to choose to do fucking violence. Right. That's the real thing the that gun, no one understands. A gun is it's the easiest tool. thing. It's, to, a yeah, t- it's the easiest tool to right. use. It's a tool to commit violence, but if you're not going to ban anything that could do bad, I mean, you can't ban all the knives. People need to be able to cut their steak. You can't fucking ban every baseball bat. Little kids want to play <clears> baseball. <throat> you can't ban cars and fire yeah, and guns. That's, that's and, like, you, you, you can't just motherfuckers go run people over with their truck no if sense. they want like, to. I never understood that shit. Like, you know... When it comes down to it, yes, the gun is the easiest tool to use well, if you want to do... pick the shit to um, argue about that's going to keep... Uh-huh. That's not... That you're never going to stop. Uh-huh. Right. It's a, like divi- the drugs. It's a division. It's a division. drugs. You're it's, never going to stop the war on drugs unless you legalize everything. You're never going to stop the illegal trades on guns until you... What these like, things are... it's just an idea they can ways always to, go with. There are things to divide us. The things to make us not be oh, able yeah, to get it's along. It's a constant thing. It's a it's a thing to make sure that like because people people can't get on the same page. Well, because also people want to feel like they're part of something and categorize themselves to be all right. I'm this. I'm this. But everybody's this, ego this. is making them think that they are like always right about everything. Oh yeah, and because they, they hear somebody agree. <clears throat> like you said earlier, you know, I listen to this and this agree with what I'm saying, so my shit's right because this person's saying it. But at the end of the day, like I've said many times on this show before, 
everybody wants the exact same shit, but nobody wants to sit down and be like, you know what? Uh-huh. Yeah, we're you're right. We all want the exact same shit. We want to be able to live our life comfortable and fucking not get fucked over constantly. Well, it's like the narrative of people that say like, oh, what? You want to hurt people because you want to have a gun? Like, no, I, I don't want to hurt anybody. I want to have a gun in case I need a gun. Just like, <laughs> I don't want to have a, I don't have a fiber singer because I want to burn my house down. Yeah, I have a fiber singer in, in case. case I need to put my house out if it catches on fire. You know, like, people are like, it's like this demonization of anything that someone disagrees with. Like, I don't have to agree with you. Like, I'm not like, oh, you want to have the right to have an abortion because you want to kill your unborn child. Like, yeah. I don't say that to women that are pro-abortion. I'm like... I think there should be limits on that, just like most people think there should be limits on the Second Amendment. Like, there's a lot of things. There should be limits on a lot of things. Yeah. But there should be a whole lot of things that are allowed that are not allowed. And things shouldn't be demonized. It should be just, hey, look, that motherfucker made a decision that's different from the decision you would have made. Not a big deal. You don't have to hate that person for it. Like, like I remember I was talking to this cat at my job, and he was telling me about, he was trying to tell me, explain to me what kind of gun he had and whatnot. And I'm like, look, man. Be honest with you, I'm not a gun guy because I never could own one. You know, I'm a felon, so I can't own a fucking gun. You know what I mean? He was like, well, that sucks. I was like, not really for me because when I found out that I could never own one, I got proficient with other weapons because I'm like, I got to have something to fucking see in case something happens. So I made sure that I was nice with other kinds of weaponry. (laughs) Right, but the thing is, man, you can't adequately defend your home and family with a fucking sword or a knife. If That's got, also true. If you've got multiple armed assailants, of, you know, of, you know. That's also true. Coming at you. But I have something at least shit stashed all over that, you know, I got my shit like like He got the he got the cereal got the box Denzel. with a knife. He got the Denzel crib. Yeah, yeah. He got the Denzel crib. I got shit right. stashed the stash over the over the family like, picture. For right. me, it'd be like, all right, run up on my shit if you would like. See, and that's the thing. I appreciate your ability to feel well taken care of or well prepared for the eventuality that it hopefully never happens. Exactly. But like, I don't like that you're not allowed to have what yeah. would give you the greatest and amount here's the of fucking, protection. Here's the thing that gets me though with it. Because I'll have a drug felon, I can never own one until I get it expunged, right? Here's the thing with the expungement part of shit. It, just, it costs a fuck ton of money just to send all this paperwork and shit in just for somebody to say either yes or no. You don't even get an actual yes. Right. They don't even give you a trial or nah, anything. They just say yeah, you're next. Yeah, and you don't know that until you get some paper back in the mail saying... Give us 10 grand and we'll tell you what, maybe. Yeah, you're next. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because when I got my... I, I was it's able because to Because it's a fucking hustle, Mike. Oh, yeah, it it's is. It's only set up to extract income it, it from is. the citizen. Because I just had like to pay the whole, vote. Just like a whole lot of laws are. Yeah. Like, it's bullshit, man. I had to pay to get my rights back to vote. I had to fucking go to the courthouse, do all this paperwork, go here and get this paperwork from this motherfucker, go here and get this paperwork from here had to get letters written by three motherfuckers and then send this to the fucking governor and then wait for this motherfucker to send me back a paper saying yes or no that I got my rights back to vote like mm. and then I was like well how do I get an expungement like oh you gotta do the same thing again but then you gotta get fingerprinted where you with the, the county you're in and the county you got arrested at. I was like why do I gotta get fingerprinted twice that doesn't make any sense yeah if you why already, can't they just send the info you already have my fingerprints from when I got arrested motherfucker so they you know what change. that is? No, yeah. you know what that is? That's intergovernment agencies not communicating with each other. Oh yeah. Because absolutely. why would we communicate when we can be diverse, like like actually fighting with each other? Yeah. When yeah. we can have like a reason to not actually do our job right that has nothing to do with the citizen or what the citizen actually requires. Yeah. That's the thing that pisses me off about all this government crap. It's like you're not trying to be more efficient. You're trying to be more problematic. Yeah. You're trying to create an it's issue. It's more of a headache. Because I'm like, I could go out here and get me an illegal gun uh-huh. with ease. Sure. Be a whole lot easier to fucking going through this whole bullshit yeah, and having to gun. fucking pay for all this shit. Well, but the thing is, it's like... I can say it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's stupid. You always breaking felonies out on the show. I'm like, dog, saying, man. man. I mean, it there when he get his shit together, I can sell him guns. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he was legal, sure, we any of us could technically. But that the, the thing is, it's like the system is set up to rob everybody blind. Oh, absolutely, oh, yeah. absolutely. 
Constantly. Should get paid, not to help. Sack that motherfucker. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, like the system is set up. Like most cops, like I mean, even cops are like they all about that money too. Because like, but they're not all. I talked to a steady a couple all. weeks back, and he was talking about how his supervising officer was giving him shit for not fucking writing enough tickets over the Labor Day weekend. And he's like, look, man, I got one speeder. I handled two wrecks, and I took on any call I got. I dealt my, I did my job. I protected and served. I didn't fucking select someone yeah. and create income yeah. through them. Yeah. And that's what the fucking problem that's is. It's the problem, all that's the hustle. Doing, yeah. They yeah. just yeah. want to fucking take money. They'll pass, they'll pass a dude on the side of the road uh -huh. with hazards Radiant on. Needs tires, help. With hazards yep. on. They needs help that to go get money off of somebody else. To go try to pull somebody over whatever. It don't that matter. Shit. You, if you're a police officer, whether you're off duty, on duty, you should at least pull behind this motherfucker and be like, yo, bro, I've seen I'm that over shit here on 29, times. this motherfucker down, dog. Anybody working today? And then they show up and then you leave. I know they run up on me. When I'm trying to hit a bowl, my tires is flat weight on triple A. I don't need help. I'm taking care of it. I'm, what about these other white people that clearly stand there like, right? don't have but, a fucking clue in the world what's but going they on. Love, they'd love to get you over that barrel. But they'll get me for speeding and shit or good whoever for not wearing a seatbelt when they clearly passed a whole family on the side of row ad. You know what I mean? Need yeah. some kind of help I somewhere. I see that else. shit damn near uh -huh. weekly. Uh -huh. At least the highway, you got the uh, VDOT dude in the big truck. Yeah, that's, that see, that's up the one thing. You. But that's 6'6". Six, six, you know what I mean? That's the one thing I see all the time. Now, VDOT will come out. The guy that usually do, that we be talking about that usually has the signs and shit that you see riding. Right. That if that motherfucker sees a car broke down or somebody with flashes on, he puts up his motherfucking sign that says, you know, like, got the hazard lights on. Right. And he pulls and over he pulls to any car any, he yep, sees. Any, any fucking car he pulls over. I've and never granted, seen them people pass a guy. Nope. And that's their job. Job. That's but you'll job. see, well, you'll see the cop pass both of them and keep riding, take the exit, keep on going. So I've seen a fucking cop that was in front of an accident, like it was like maybe about a mile back, and he's just sitting there. I'm like, yo, dude, you know there's a there's a lady that needs help back here, but you sitting here, you pull right off. Yeah, look at yeah. the accident up there. Yeah, you can see right it on. clear as day. Yeah, staying out in the car with the gun like this, you that's can see because, the shit. That's because we're treated as a commodity always been we're not treated as something to be we're protected zeros and ones. or taken care of or or cared about we're batteries in the matrix that's right yep financial batteries in the police state matrix uh-huh which is really just deep state just charging up waiting for your plug to get pulled well because that's a great way to keep you from ever getting to a space where you're in a better place it's All a great right. way to keep you down no, you think you're coming along? Oh, we're going to fuck you we're up We're going to beat you in the head with money. Uh -huh. We're going to gouge you for all the money you got left that you've been trying to save and do right. Uh -huh. Because I know you want to try to just live your life in a fucking peaceful ass fucking manner. But we can, uh -huh. we're not going to let you do that because uh -huh. we're going to keep you stressed like a motherfucker. Your health's going to be fucked up. So now you got to fuck with Big Pharma and get the pills that we keep uh -huh. on coming out with uh -huh. every day. That ain't going to do nothing for you because uh -huh. it's going to make your butthole bleed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But we got something for that too. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This was just going Yeah. What are these pills making your bowl, but Man, whatever's on TV, they got all kinds of shit, oh, man. Damn. They usually eat uh -huh. hemorrhoids or something. I think it's one of the things they I was put talking on TV. to my boys, man. I think I was I was telling them that concrete uh -huh. gives you hemorrhoids, man. They be sitting on concrete blocks. I told them I give you hemorrhoids. That cold concrete will do it. Yeah, man, I'll pull your booty hole out yeah, of your so body. I told them, I said, man, that's gonna suck it sucks your ass all right, I'm going out from you, bro. Hey, you tripping? I'm like, all right. Well, look, when when that asshole gets sucked out from from the concrete, you can tell him, hey, man. I told him, I said, yeah, when you got your shit poking out, I'm going to tell you, hey, bro, just sat on that bucket. You just ain't poking that shit back S in. Sit on the bucket. <laughs> you don't see me sitting Put on the, the concrete, bucket cut. on the concrete and sit down. Now, you ever, does it do it Indian style, too? You sit in Indian style on the floor? I would say you have to. You still, sitting on concrete. Still gets you. How you sit on the floor when it pull your booty hole out? I sit on like a center block. Oh, just like a center block by itself yeah. with your knees bent? Just still, I guess, concrete. Like sitting on the concrete. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But still, but yeah, I don't, I, I, see, I don't know if that was center block. I don't think, con I don't know, man. I, I gotta look into that. Like, what, what is, it, is it curve? What kind of concrete is it? You know what I'm saying? Is it just a center block? There's, there's a, a lot, lot of different kind of concrete. You know, I don't know. There's a lot of different concretes. So, 
I didn't know if there was a myth even. I told him I ain't seen no Mythbusters, so I didn't really believe it or not or nothing like that. You know that's I mean? the kind of Mythbusters. So. I wish we could get the funding to be able to do, like, the bro science shit that we come up with here. The Mythbusters. Like, 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 I'm not going to sit on concrete, but we need to get some guys, real scientists in here. We need two guys to sit on the concrete. Right. One guy needs to sit on the center block. I'm not going to see how long it takes me to get a hemorrhoid, <laughs> then how long it gets better, then yeah. I'll catch another hemorrhoid. hemorrhoid. Once you get one, can you unhemorrhoid? Yeah, they got sense. shit for that. Got, with, like, a plunger or a backer mm-hmm. plunger? I think I've seen a frozen <laughs> pl- pl- plug thing that pokes in there. Yeah, Ooh, I think it's like, like you fucking put it in the freezer. Back in? You put it in the freezer, they poke the little like thing an up in there. It's like a little tiny finger. <sighs> yeah, what keeps the popping back on out then? I, hopefully, hopefully you're not pushing too hard in the future. I think oh, man, yeah, because you can push one out. Well, you're not pushing, out. though, sitting no, on the you, you concrete. But on the concrete, you're not, you're not pushing. But you if, you, push if, you've one ex- out. if you've exacerbated yourself up into having one, oh, then so you're it's gonna have a easier. shit the rest of your life. That's right. It's yeah. easier, yeah. easier, fearful it's easier shit to bring them back. The thing is, you don't want to push the shit out. You're jerking off at your mama's house when you're young. Thinking the doors Wait, open. What? <laughs> That's scary <laughs> shit, man. That's scary shit. Jerking off of the doors open. <laughs> nah, not just it's scary. Scary. You jerking off home load and then your mom pop in and dad come over, you know what I'm saying? And then you hear the door, you're like, oh shit. But not being able to like freely shit? That's scary, dog. You just you just That's couldn't scary, push. Bro. You, can, you just can't push. Man, I'm scared. You gotta let it slide. I don't out. know, bro. You gotta let it slide. Out. You gotta eat shit with Uber. needs to be able to relax his duty out. That's super relaxing when you can't do no force or nothing like that. Yeah, you I mean, just gotta I don't let it happen. happen. I you think I like a bad word. I hope this comes out. That because be, look, yeah. if you have a Taco Bell night, you ain't. You, that's, that's that's forceful shit coming. Yeah, you'd have to almost. And, and, yeah. That's a blowout happening. Enter Taco Bell in your evening. Yeah, you fuck around with that monkey meat. It's fucking. Your asshole up. The monkey meat. Yeah. You got that, like real food. And you get that milk. monkey meat in you, man. Fuck that shit. When that shit comes, it's, it's gonna hurt. Cause then you're like, man, is it burning because of the hot sauce or is it burning Ooh. because I got a hemorrhoid? You see, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't know why you yeah, burning that. Both. There's but then burn, if it yeah, gets the, the itch, it's probably the hemorrhoid. Heavy on the hemorrhoid when it's hanging out. It was what? exposed to air. It is, should be. Is the Frank it's extra hot? Burn? I guess <laughs> extra hot when it's hanging out with this fucking air. Oh, you heard it, bro? Man, I got this Hanks. I got this Frank's red hot up on my fucking my fucking asshole hanging out of me. But Kevin, you gotta go to, we gotta go to the doctor and be like, hey, doc, look at this. There's something coming out of my ass right there. I feel something, but don't feel it right Can when I wipe. Slide it over, man. I, I need can't to poke that. Tank, I need to poke that back in there. How we get this back in, doc? What we gotta do here? Am I hanging out? Those motherfuckers was tripping. I had them boys lunch at work, man, because I'm I'm doing some stupid shit on the on the concrete, like dremeling out nails and shit down in the concrete. So I'm, you know, on my knees in the floor, look at that shit. So I'm down there, face down, ass up. That's how we like to work. Check your crack. Check your crack. God I'm saying, damn it. You know, and this dude's See, over here yeah, just play, like, play, play what the, the fuck is wrong with you, bro? It's always something. This motherfucker said he faced that ass up with a bunch of dudes looking at him. And all the dudes, all the dudes walk by is like, bro, you got to check your position. Bro, you got to check your position. I said, what's wrong with my crack ass? He's like, nah, bro, but you just can't work like that. I'm like, well, how the fuck else am I supposed to do this? Man, I can't lay down. Because the ball's going to run up on me. Like, what, you napping on a job? You now, might have been, I'm just working at underground level. You ever worked underground level? You it's might have been tempting one of them. One of them might have been tempted to run up in you, Jew. You got to be careful, nah, man. I already yeah. tell I was barricaded. The air was barricaded off, man. They had to enter the zone, man. And it would be hell to pay. <laughs> no, it's not about it's not about them running up on you and just trying to stick it in. It's about them feeling weird about how now they want to ask out the Jew, you know? Uh-huh. They're like, oh man, that guy's well, weird. Well, I'm not sexy, sexy, bro. Pants, yeah, I'm not man. all sexy, you know what I mean? I you understand. Know, I understand it. You know what I mean? It, it's hard. It's hard, you, but it, it happens, you know what I mean? But that's not my fault. You know what I mean? The dude probably like, God damn it, he do be singing to me every day. Right? Singing you know, about sexy hair and he, all that. Yeah, this motherfucker probably over there going like this, like, you know... I don't know. He he is singing that he on all fours. I wonder if he's singing to me. He might be singing to me, but singing to everybody else. But he mentioned it me. I know that's what he directed me. Right. The problem is, and the probably that motherfucker that already said, "Hey, you know that boy Jew? He be singing to me." He's like, you know that. I, hey, Jew, check your position. Hey, don't tell him that, man, because he's doing that for me. Yeah. See, because you <laughs> probably got some construction <laughs> this, workers that got a crush on you, dude. There's somebody there, and they're like, man, that old Jew, man, when I'm he sure starts there's singing. There's somebody there that wants my cock, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, no, that ain't, ain't that they want. They can put a pass. They don't want that one. They want where the hemorrhoid gonna be. Oh, at. Either way, they either gonna try either, to give you a hemorrhoid. Either, either way, either way, bro. Cause I be fucking with the one dude, the other dude, my other buddy. I was over there hammer drilling, right? 
And I said, oh, oh, what? Hammer drill, right? God damn it. Yeah. So I said, I'm chipping up concrete. Like, Go on the hammer drill, that. Just throw us some liberals. And I'm sitting on that concrete. Sitting on the bucket, and I said, ooh. Ooh. You feel that? So we talk about that little tame vibration going on right there, bro. <laughs> you Scott. So that thing I'm singing, sweet, 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 tame vibration. And he's like, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? I was just like, here, get off some of this. Here, take the bucket. He's like, I, I'm not doing none of that. See that? And that's that motherfucker in the corner. He says, tame vibration. Hey, he talking to me. He talking to me. That's what he won. Yeah, they're thinking about you and vibrating that, tanks. That, that you sure do got pretty mouth. <laughs> you just gotta give him hell at work, man. Otherwise, you know, there ain't a reason to be there. <laughs> I know that's right. You gotta, you gotta hate your job, man. You, know? you do gotta have fun at work, though. You do. I get to come in every morning and talk shit to the motherfuckers before I get in the truck. Man, I, look, my, you need my, that, though. You know what I'm my saying? old branch that. manager, man, she be coming downstairs. She's like, yo, as soon as I hear you laugh, I know you're down here cutting up. Oh, you fucking right. I'm getting it going this morning. Like, everybody looked like they was tired. Let me get them going real quick. Right. I'm going to say some dumbass shit, get everybody looking at me all stupid, and they'll be like, yo, you fucked up. I know I am. Y'all be safe out there. Yeah, I'm going to work. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, <laughs> Let's get this truck, get this shit over with, man. Appreciate you. I can't help it that I look good. Smell yeah. I mean, having, like, I go up there to the HR lady, man. I go up there and fuck with her every fucking day, man, to make sure she laughing because she's had a rough year, you know what I mean? A rough two mm. years. So I'm like, you know, she had some fucked up shit happen in her family. And fucking, I found out about it. I was like, oh, man, you know, I'm going to make sure she laugh every fucking day. So I go in there, I'll say something stupid, man. She be losing it, yo. <laughs> Good on like, you, Mike. She looks man. forward pick when up, I cover there. Pick up the day for people, bro. Because like, it, it, it's just, I know how it's a drab in the office. Like, it's just quiet well, in there. Office life sucks, man. Office, like, you office know what I mean? life sucks, man. Yeah. I did that shit, so I know. So I'm like, man, I'm on the road by my fucking self all fucking day looking at dumb shit, just absorbing the yeah, fucking day. Yeah, but you get day. some window action, you know what I mean? Which. It, Not only that, I get to see ignorant fucking people on a day. Yeah, you're going to see Dude, a lot your, of dumb your shit. Your people watching ability is. Way like, high up, yeah, because of where you have to go. Yeah, when I get to DC, it's like a fucking goddamn smorgasbord of shit oh, yeah, yeah, every yeah, fucking yeah, day. It's yeah. always something out there. Every, every, oh yeah. Like this one shorty that used to ride with me, she was like, "Yo, how the fuck do you pay attention to everything going on and drive this truck?" I said, "Cause my mind works that fast. I see shit, I catch it, boom, it's there, it's done, process it. I'm on to the next thing. It's so much shit out here." I said, "But I'm so used to this though." Well, it's because you see it every day. Yeah, you go down I, these places, you're like, "Oh, they're that guy." is doing that yeah. thing. When something d seems out of place, it catches my eye but I also know, alright, certain times you gotta pay attention to shit. I keep my head on swivel. I learned that as a kid. Uh -huh. You gotta keep your head on swivel and see what's the fuck around you. It's just that I process shit different than most people. You know what I mean? I'm fucked up in the head. So I come up with the dumbest uh -huh. ass shit that I can think of and give myself a good chuckle for the day. Can you, dig it? you know what I mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> I do some dumb shit. Like, oh man, what was this? So one lady, I can't remember what the fuck I told her, but I had her fucking tripping last week. I went to her spot and picked up her oil, and she was just bitching and bitching and bitching. <laughs> and fucking, I was like, well, God damn, you just having a rough one. I said something stupid, man. I said something just dumb as shit because somebody outside was doing something just completely retarded. And, I, and the shit just clicked, and I just said it out loud. And she said, wait, say that again? I was like, oh, fuck. I, I didn't mean for that to come out that way it came out. And she goes, no, nah, that shit was fucking hilarious. I'm like, all right, well, cool. If you liked it, we straight there. Ain't got to worry about nothing. Don't call my boss on nothing. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> you know right. What I mean? Yeah. Because sometimes shit just slips out on accident, man. Oh, yeah, dude. I say some crazy shit to people sometimes. Because you know, I, I, I forget that I'm actually around people that don't know me well enough. Hell, man, I do that to people. If it's just me and somebody else, I'll say some shit and I'll be like, oh, yeah, my bad. I don't even like, say my I'm bad. I just, I just look to see, all right, and they're like, what the fuck did you just say? Yeah, sometimes shit be like that. I say, I look at things different from you do. That's how it is. I said, there's humor in everything. You just got to find it. Yeah. Everything. everything. You got to try to enjoy it on the yeah. funny side because that's the only way to get through. Because that's what this one motherfucker told me. He goes, eh. He goes, man, you look at shit and you find stuff to laugh. And I said, yeah, because life is actually funny. Uh -huh. You just have to look at the funny shit. I said, you can take it as bad. You can take it as bleak. But I'm looking at it as 
how can I turn this and spin this into something funny and be like, all right, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Well, you know, because it's like, I don't like this or I don't like that. Yeah. But I got to do it. So I might as well try to find something amusing about this to get yeah, through it. Yeah, just keep on getting it. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm like, like I, I was pissed off the other day because this dude was riding a bike and he had a, what's it, like a, like a car seat on the back? Like you had them for the little babies to yeah. be at, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I see this guy in my mirror. You know, I see him coming. He's in the bike lane, but the bike lane is also a turn lane. The cars in front of me didn't see this shit. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, they don't see this guy. And they're about to turn. The lights about to turn green. But this dude is still fucking just biking like. Because he's not paying attention. Because he's on a bike. That's why, because he's on a bike. It's not that he's not paying attention. He he sees he's on a bike and he has it right away in the, in the whole world of America. Yeah. You let these motherfuckers do whatever the fuck they fucking want. You pretty like, much. Right in the middle of the fucking road down 55, which is 40 fucking five Bro. mile an hour, and they're not a fucking shoulder. So let's put a stupid ass cracker like looking at leaves on the goddamn bike doing eight fucking mile an hour. Yeah, but bro. I'm in the wrong when I hit the motherfucker doing the speed limit because that asshole has the right to be just riding on the fucking road because he fucking feels like it. Yeah, look. Go in the fucking neighborhood, you asshole. It's 20 fucking five, and you ain't gonna get hit as hard, you stupid fuck. The dude is He's riding his there. bike, and he's fucking trying to, he's about to try to, like, weave in between the cars and the... the, the, the <laughs> I'm sh- just a thought. The, 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 the uh, <laughs> cars turning in the fucking cars that are parked, right? He's trying, he's getting ready to squeeze through, and I'm like, oh, these motherfuckers don't see this dude. Like, I, I'm looking at these cats, they're not paying, they're looking at the traffic right. coming. The cars. The yeah. cars. The yeah. people that are on yeah. the road. <laughs> So I just I, because as a cyclist, you should be conscientious of the fact that these cars will kill you if they run into. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, I know that's right. And I'm looking. I'm like, oh shit, he has a baby on the back of this motherfucker. I think right. That's so I so tapped the big boy horn real quick. I hit my air on womp real quick. Just one time, right? Let me try to wake everybody up out here. Yeah, so these motherfuckers look back in their mirror because they can see this guy, right? So he's trying to bike through, and I see him wobble. And I'm like, oh, please don't, because I see the baby head do this, and I've lost it. I just started laughing. I'm like, man, goddamn, Mike, I know I'm wrong for this, but goddamn, that big head baby, that shit was still like this, because the bike wobbled like he was about to fall. I'm like, bruh, there's a whole fucking sidewalk that nobody is on that you should be riding, especially you got a little fucking big head, wobbly head baby. Like, bruh, get the fuck that wobbly head baby a, on the sidewalk. Should be a, uh, uh-huh. that, it should be a bus lane. Yeah, bus lane and a bike lane can't be the same lane. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They so can't bus lane and bike can't lane. Be. They can be because what happens when the bus got to fucking well, stop? That would mean that would, puts the car, that the guy, require, in the car lane, in the real no, car that lane. That would require the cyclist to pay attention and maybe stop for the no, bus. No, he's not going to do that. The cyclist always has the right way. He's going to get in the left lane where in the supercar lane because now that second lane in where he's going to get railroaded by us or that person have to slam on the brace. But my thing is, when we were, I remember riding on the sidewalk when I was younger. Uh-huh. I take my bike on the sidewalk. I wasn't out on the road because I, I didn't want to get don't hit. ride on the yeah. street. I think I was ever fucking told to not get beat. Yeah. Yeah. I rode there's, on the street across to get the cold sack. You know, I'm screaming. Well, yeah. I ain't never not ride on the street. Nah, there's definitely something to that. 100%. Like, fuck, you got a whole fucking sidewalk that nobody walks on. Yeah. You got a jogger, but there's enough yeah, for like, you to jogger and a bike. Like when you were growing, well, I don't know. When I, uh, you ain't grow up where you was in, the, in over there in Springs, right? No, no, no. I was out there in Falls Church. Yeah, he was out there in City. So uh, even to me, like in WL, I would go down to the cul-de-sac Jones. I wouldn't ride down the main strip yeah. where, where the main traffic would be driving, you know what I'm saying? I'd go down the little cul-de-sac. Ride, like, ride the cul-de-sac I wasn't riding trips. the road because I lived in the city. I wasn't riding the road. I'd ride on the sidewalk. Well, I was out here in the country, and every now and again, we'd take the bikes, and like some dumbass friends of mine would ride up these really roads they shouldn't have been riding on to come yeah. over. But then we'd ride down roads that didn't have lines on them. As far as I'm concerned, if the road ain't got a line on it, there's a little bit of leeway. Like yeah. if, it's, if it's paved, but there's no line, and it's like 25 or 35. All right, I don't think that's too big of a deal. But if there's lines, if you're on a major, there's two lines. Yeah, if you're on a major, I don't don't ride if the car was coming, I would get off my bike off yeah. the fucking road. Yeah. That's what yeah. I fucking yeah. did. Yeah. Not because my parents fucking told me, just because I knew a car was fucking bigger. Well, look, sense. man, you're a big dummy, but you know, you I didn't get fucking my sense. clothes matched and shit like that. And I was out sense. there trying to Lance Armstrong the world and shit. I'm going to stop and get out of the motherfucker's way. Man. Well, I, the Lance Armstrong I'm not thing. I'm on the sidewalk any fucking way. Because the sidewalk should be for people walking and people fucking 
riding a fucking bike. One individual should be able to kind of go around the other motherfucker. Well, because if you're on a bike, you got brakes and shit. Slow the fuck down. Like, I've ridden my bike up yeah, around if, people uh, before, like, and I go by slow. The bikers, right. the bikers in the sidewalk should be fucking... On the same jump, and the biker should almost have a right away on that because it's a lot easier for a, for a dude walking to take a step over to the right. But the wheelchairs, <clears throat> motherfucker, should have the super right away. The handicap should have the super super right away uh, in that situation. So are you giving it to handicaps overall? Yeah, because yeah, if he's rolling, yeah. either way, getting pushed or rolling on his own, he need all that leeway. Man, there was a dude. I shit you not. This past week on Canal Road, going up this hill. With all this is fucking rush hour morning traffic. This is like seven o'clock in the morning, and this son of a bitch was holding up traffic because he's biking up a hill, just chilling. I, I hate and like, people like and that. Like seventeen like, gear, he's pedaling his ass yeah. up, and going like one mile an hour. You and know I'm what I mean? Like, you fucking bitch, why in the fuck are you even here? There's a bike lane, there's a bike path I know that takes you not even up this hill, but it goes around and goes under the bridge. I think he thinks he's Lance Armstrong. I think they might. I swear they got the right of way. I'm telling you, them bikers, especially in the city, they think they got the right of way. Uh-huh. Which they do because they're going to win any kind of argument. Well, any there's kind of accident, they're winning. There's technical there, but if you die when I run you over, even if you had the right of way, like, you didn't do anything but ruin my life by being a narcissistic piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're, a, you're, a, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's all you've done. I like, always, because uh, you look at the people with the, with the, with the scooters, the electric scooters. They be on the sidewalk. Remember we seen they that girl sidewalk. coming down the hill that time we was up in the Yo, city and she was going way too fast and managed to dipping. stop. I was she like, was Mike, dipping. don't hit this girl. She going to die. Some of them boys, I see some of them riding on, on like the road. I don't but know, they're doing they're like 20, 25. So I don't, I don't, I ain't, I ain't knocking them. You know what I mean? They're, they're moving. Well, but that's why I Most say. Most of the speed limit DC 25 any fucking way. I, I would, strips, I would make it so you can't ride a bike on anything that's over 25. 25 and under bikes are allowed. That's where it should be. That's the way I... Because you can't go over that. No, you You're not riding 45 on your bicycle any kind of consistency. You like might I, hit it going down a hill. I know 55 is a nice scenic route for people to ride their bike. But give them a bike lane. Like, or a yeah. sidewalk. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. 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 it's really dangerous. Because it's really dangerous. I almost yep. killed multiple people yeah. in my K5 as, as a community, you would think them white people would get together and be like, yo, can we fund the sidewalk out this bitch? They don't want to spend money up there. They don't nah, want to spend nah, money. Not them. I'm saying the cyclists. Yeah, if the cyclists got together, even even want to even, even even want to put they're still too convinced. Down. They're still too convinced that they got the right of way to be there. So fuck they you do. if you run into me. I do. Mm-hmm. Like, you I can have them. the right to be here, but you're still gonna be really hurt when I'm just sitting there yeah, in the car. I see these boys uh, marking the lines in the middle of the road over there at Haynes Point, and this like uh, flock of bikers come through, probably like 2025, 20, Bob, um, and was there. Wait, 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 wait. We, we, we had the construction workers that was marking the lines on the goddamn yeah, road yeah. because these fuckers are on a, a race with themselves or some shit in the, in the middle of the fucking day. You know what I mean? Like the they, construction workers ain't got the right of way to be out in them motherfucker working when they got their shit combed off and everything. Right, these bitch, you got to wait. We working. Y'all out here just enjoying your day fucking cycling, practicing with each two other. Two lanes. Two lanes. Still honking people. Two lanes. It's fucking assholes. Yeah, it's just assholery, man. Bro, uh, this is why I do like when winter comes, because them motherfuckers no more cyclists. Yeah, they stay home. But as soon as spring hits, boy, uh, these uh, bitches get out that uh, motherfucker spandex, that hot orange and fucking lime green glasses and shit, and get but, the fucking but it sucks because it green makes green driving glasses. worse. Because I think those bikers, they don't really know how to drive. That's why they ride the bikes so much. So when they need a drive in the winter, that's why winter traffic is so fucked. Because all those little cyclists, <laughs> you know, the cyclists for winter there, traffic. There, there you know might I mean? be they something to they that. They can't ride in the morning. They're still in the high. There now they, might they be still in a Prius. Which doesn't save you no kind of money on 66 now. Because everybody fucking owes money on 66 now. So now there's no reason to drive a Prius. Unless you want to save the fucking world. What would he do? We're still burning plastic, you Prius driving motherfucker. So you ain't doing shit. You know, the neighbor over here. Burning fucking 97 gallons of plastic is overriding your little Prius fuel consumption that you're doing any fucking way. How about the Middle East burning tires? Like, yeah, that's what I'm screaming. How about us? What are we doing all off fucking tires? We, I, we I get fucking the three East tires and a goddamn day in my car. You know what I'm saying? So, in the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, with the word they're supposed to be saving the the, the turtles or, with the plastic paper or you could, we could weave them together and go and, and put them over like blasting sites or breaking up the ground. You ever seen uh, that? Yeah, they yeah, make, yeah, yeah. Tire yeah. Swings they make blankets shit. out of old tires. They don't do tire swings anymore, man. Nah, they're dangerous, dude. Tire yeah. swings are dangerous, bro. Everything's dangerous, man. Living, waking belts. up in the morning is dangerous. Uh-huh. 
Thank you, Mr. Never know what the fuck's gonna happen. That's the damn truth. Waking up's dangerous. Try to enjoy your life, you fucking miserable cunts! Like, fucking my sister today, she uh, had a drink. She goes, God damn it. I said, what? She goes, this fucking goddamn straw doesn't disintegrate. I said, all oh, the paper straws. I said, yeah, they big on that shit out here. I said, but it doesn't make sense. And she's like, what are you talking about? I said, the paper straws to save the turtles from the plastic straws. But yet, the cup you're drinking out of is plastic. The, the bag, plastic straw ends up in the turtle's nose. The cup does not. What, the turtles are sniffing coke now? What no, the no, they have swimming yeah, along, and the straw gets in their nose, just... and it works its way in, and it kills them. That's what the problem is. But so does the fucking plastic bag, because they think it's a jellyfish, and they eat it, but the yeah, plastic it's bag... It's a little bit the different. There, there's no videos of someone pulling a plastic bag out of a turtle. There's videos of people pulling fucking plastic straws out of their noses. A lot of videos of that. Uh-huh. It's all about how you can make people feel bad. I guess. Because, I mean, if they really feel bad... What are those people? Peter? Yeah. What, people eating tasty animals? Huh. Yeah, but the people that give a fuck about that. Humane society? PETA's ethical treatment of animals. Uh, people for the ethical treatment of animals. Which is cool. I'm all for ethical treatment of animals. Are you talking about the plastic motherfuckers? I don't even know no more. It don't really matter. Ladies and gentlemen, with that said, <laughs> we're going to have to bring this episode of the Mason and Friends show to a close. Oh, uh, yeah. We'd like to thank you so very much for listening. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like to encourage you to check out old episodes, as well as new episodes. Like, share, subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Just a thumbs up, hit the bell, or whatever the fuck there is. Uh-huh. You gonna give them a, a share this song? Share this bitch. Song? You got any other songs? I only got two. I got more in the, in the making and the processing in my head right now. So I got like three more. Share working. this bitch on the X, the Twitter, the Rumble, the YouTube, whatever the fuck you may be watching or listening on. We will give you a little something on the Jew unit front. We're playing Jew Roulette right now. A little Jew Roulette. Just spin it and see <laughs> what's going to land on today. Today's song is going to be a little song called Get What You Get. Hey, look at that. Get What You Get. Don't throw it. There I, it is. I thought that it sounded like a good thing to get what you get. But ladies and gentlemen, get what you get coming up from the Jew unit. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh-huh. Don't forget, be nice to people that look like you and be nice to people that don't look like you. Uh-huh. Don't be a dick. A little bit by a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully Keep we'll be right forward. on time with that theme. You know, we... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like shit my own horn, but I like how like we spit some shit and then, and then the we'll just song rip, that some yeah. shit and then I'll say some ignorant shit about some ignorant shit that I just said. You know what I mean? I just like that shit. The connections are kind of amazing. It's, I don't understand. Sometimes. How, I, don't understand. I, don't understand. I don't understand. The universe works in our yeah. favor. Multiverse. Especially since this was from AA, oh, no, what the fuck, May of 2014. I'm saying some of this shit's like from 10 years ago and it's yeah. still <laughs> matching up with what the fuck's going like. Well, the thing is, you're a consistent individual, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> so oh, yeah anyway uh don't forget just how much we love you love y'all we wish you nothing but the best all day every day and peace be with you peace. Peace. yes sir we back this is your unit up in the booth we got the plates on the whip. Y'all know who it is when I'm coming through here. It's Juju, the baby J, U, U, and I, T. Yes, sir, east side. It's going to be the motherfucking Jew unit. Let the beat drop. Here we go. Let the beat drop. Here we go. Sitting around the pool table with my homies. We drinking on a leg and it's smoking on a dojo. We got the motherfucking chronic with the fucking names. I think the last batch was called the Girl Scout Cookies. I don't even know if it was Thin Men's Tag Along. I don't even give a damn. That shit was good. It was tasty on my motherfucking breath on my lips. I was like... That's mighty fine, I can feel it, feel it, it tasted today, I'm not even gonna drink my Coca-Cola, I'ma let the cotton mouth sit so I can be like, god damn, that's some motherfucking pie does, and your motherfucker got the same shit I got, I think not, motherfucker, we smoking, smoking and blazing and chiefing and drinking and shooting on the pool, what's it gonna be, all y'all motherfuckers don't even know how to do you, unit ripping on it here, with the motherfucker stands in the motherfucker. Fans, what's it gonna be now? Everybody looking at you, you, you the rapping in the RBS. Rocket Bottom Studio representing. Get what you get, don't throw a fit. Get what you get, it don't throw a fit. Get what you get, it don't throw a fit. And you keep your shit legit and all tight, yes sir. Get what you get, 
don't throw a fit. Get what you get and don't throw a fit. Get what you get and don't throw a fit. It's getting hot in the motherfucking booth. Yes, they're about to take the fucking earphones. Don't give a fuck what the motherfuckers sound like. This is what's gonna be. It's getting too hot like a fucking said. My ears motherfucking burning like, oh my god. But y'all motherfuckers looking at me. Do you didn't rap it? This is fucking crazy shit. If you got the motherfucking earphones, it's like you motherfucking rapping don't even know what it sounds like. Does it sound good or does it sound bad? I don't know. Don't give a goddamn fuck to you. Listen to me. Turn the shit off. Don't give a damn. I'm gonna do it again. Put the earphones. It sounds so fucking different. Now you off beat. What the fuck's gonna be? Looking at you, you, you're looking at me. This motherfucker sweating. Oh my god, like I'm taking the SATs up in this motherfucker. Yes, sir. Oh my god. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I'm alone looking at you. Say, get what you get, don't throw a fit. Say, get what you get, and don't throw a fit. Say, get what you get, and don't throw a fit. Next thing you might come on top and be legit. Get what you get, and don't throw a fit. Say, get what you get, and don't throw a fit. Next thing you might know, you be on fucking top and shit be motherfucking legit. Get what you get, don't throw a fit. Get what you get, and don't throw a fit. Get what you get, and don't throw a fit. That shit's motherfucking hilarious. We getting warmed up in the motherfucking gasery. Oh my god. It's getting hot. I better if I can get a fucking fan blowing on me, yo. I can stop and breathe. Crazy bear, crazy bear. What's it gonna be? I love that shit. Oh my god, what's it gonna be? Crazy, crazy bear. Crazy bear, crazy bear, crazy bear, crazy bear. Get what you get, don't throw a fit. Say, get what you get, and don't throw a fit. Get what you get, don't throw a fit. Next thing you might know, your shit become legit. Get what you get, and don't throw a fit. Get what you get, and don't throw a fit. Next thing you know, your shit might come out motherfucker legit. Get what you get, throw a fit. Get what you get. Motherfucker sweating like you're taking it. Yes, SAT, what's your name? I don't even know how many letters I'm gonna write down. I'm just gonna pick C and D, alternate between the both of them. I'm trying to get it done. We're gonna step outside. It's getting motherfucking out. I don't need to stop and breathe. Woo!